So this is the reality of a buying a boat online for a pound on some online auction. With the best intentions, this person said, yeah, I can do that, I can do it up, and this, that, and the other, but no, they can't do it up. Everything costs a lot of money. The mooring fees, the storage fees, the bits, the bobs, even a little wire from here to there to somewhere else is expensive. And in fact, there's no way the owner of this boat could possibly afford to even finish it. And even if they had, it still wouldn't be worth much. So this is the harsh reality. This boat now has been left, it's sunk here. Um, someone's got to get rid of this, so realistically, the local council now will have to pick up the charge of getting rid of this. And what a shame, and that means a taxpayer will have to pay that, which means that maybe your town won't have the lights, the Christmas lights on quite so early, or it might not have some service or something else switched on at the right time, because this has now gobbled up a little bit of that council's um, budget. So guys and girls, don't buy stuff online for a pound. It's just not worth it. And if the owner gets found, they will have a huge bill to pay from the council when it comes to scrapping it. It's another sad example of a boat that someone's had a go at. They tried, they did their best, and they've realized it's a little bit more work than they thought. The keels are still on it. And what's gonna happen now? It's just gonna sit here maybe for another 50 years before it's broken up and starts floating around in the water here. It's not the best for the environment. It's not the best for any end of life solution. So sad.